What's going on is Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. I got a little bit of a um, mini date tonight. Who am I dating, you may ask? I need a basket. Just a small one. Just got to grab a couple of items from the grocery store. Mm, I'll get this one. I got a little mini date with my chick, Rita Ree. I'm telling you, life is so great in every way, shape, and form. Let me get a couple of uh, ice drinks. Sometimes you want a little bit of flavor, so we're gonna rock with that. And uh, we're gonna hit the cigar bar. We've developed a little bit of a love for nice cigars and added that into our repertoire. Mm. They don't have the flavors that I want. Let's try something a little bit new. But yeah, we're gonna hit the cigar bar tonight. And that's gonna be dope. So she's out doing her thing. Um, I literally just came from taking care of a little bit of business on another side and life is good. But it's funny because Berry lemonade, that may taste all right. It's funny because I was in a gym today after I got out of uh, corporate and I was on a call. And then in between a call, I had like an hour. So I'm on the elliptical and I decided to tap into a little bit of YouTube. And I cleared out my algorithm, completely cleared out my watch history and my algorithm because I said, you know what? It's time to start over. Made sure that I revamped who I was subscribed to and only start rocking with super duper dope and positive things. Now, why is it that you may say, Anton, why would you do such a thing? Because I wanna make sure that my algorithm is completely clear. Long story short, I wanna be completely about a bullshit. I'm not trying to be out here interacting with a small group of small-minded people. I wanna grab the people that I can from uh, different spaces that are positive, pluck out people that may uh, come as a part of my tribe, and we gonna rock out. We had a great time in Atlanta, dope time in LA, super time in Houston, phenomenal time in Miami, and it was absolutely awesome. And so those are the people that I choose to rock with. That is the type of content that I choose to take in. And I am no longer, not even a little bit, subjecting myself to the BS. You know, I was studying a couple of YouTubers because that's what I do. And those guys specifically, and I'm, I'm not studying the, you know, the people that may be regular or people that may lower. I always keep an eye out for super duper dope content creators that may be on the rise and things like that. Mm, it's nothing over there. I always keep an eye out for super duper content creators that may be on the rise that I can support, lend maybe my platform and my audience to or my support or my financial resources to. And then I rock with that. But outside of that, I'm studying the ones that are doing it successfully. And one thing that I noticed is that the ones that do it successfully, they stay out of the mire of the BS. They don't get caught up in this he say, she say high school thing. You know the thing that was interesting about high school was that when the drama happened in high school, nobody knew outside of high school. So there may be a small demographic of people that think like peons that keep up a lot of different stuff. But what I'm telling you guys is that you the fool because you the one that keep on interacting with it and getting caught up with it and playing along with it and stupidly all of y'all is just all in the same circle subjecting yourself to the same stupid content and it's just like high school but the one thing that I was able to do in high school is rise above the bullshit like I am not ever ever going backwards the best thing that's happened to me in 2022 is that in 2021 at the end of it I completely I completely divested myself 
away from all of the drama and the issues and the things that other people might find appealing, I rose up and elevated. And I'm gonna tell you, for whatever reason, my finances, my resources, my productivity, everything skyrocketed. When I stopped even entertaining, let alone paying attention to clicking on and seeing what everybody else had going on, the only reason I may even know what's happening today is because people may send it to me. And even then I tell them, yo, either rock out and stop sending me this, or I'm gonna have to remove you from my contact list because I only wanna rock out with the best and the most positive, awesome, everything. I was talking to my rep today. I'm not gonna say from what business, but I was talking to my rep today. And they were telling me all of the different positive things that was going on and why I would wanna get involved in certain organizations and things like that. And it brought joy to my heart to associate myself and for my every waking moment to be associated with people that's going in a positive direction. I'm not on that BS. I am way off that, way above it. I'm throwing myself 1,000% wholeheartedly into fitness. That's going well. And it's just going to become a lifestyle. Whatever isn't positive or moving in a good direction, I don't want to be involved with it, and you shouldn't either. Merely a suggestion. Obviously, you can do whatever it is that you want to do. But I don't see why you would, wouldn't want to divest yourself from certain things. And I would say that certain people are addicted to it. Listen, here's, here's the funniest part about it. Broke beget broke. Let me say that again. Broke beget broke. You know, some broke people don't even know that they're broke. They just broke. They got a broke man's mentality. And it, it reminds me of people in the hood. And once you realize it or once you recognize it, you got to move on, man. You can't continue to hang around certain people or hang around in certain environments that's not conducive for your lifestyle. And the same way that you got about the hood, you're going to have to get about the hood of social media and YouTube and get into better spaces. I study the greats or I study other people that's absolutely awesome because I think that there's things that I could learn from them and that I embrace. In the same way that I got mentors that helped propel me and get me to certain spaces and it was still up to me to take their advice and move with intention in order to be successful. I sought out the best thing for me. I tell my young bulls, and it's a lot of people that I coach, and I tell them, schedule is booked the fuck up. Real talk, all day, every day. Booked up through, what is it? March 1st today, booked up almost all the way through April. If you want your personal coaching calls, make sure you tap in. Um, Anton Daniels, my website being completely revamped, relaunching in April. It's going to be absolutely dope. Email me from my website and make sure y'all join the Patreon, a tribe and a group of people that's going in a certain direction. That's absolutely awesome. That link is in the description. Also, if you want to get to a, a different space, you got to study the people that's ahead of you. And what I've learned by really, really taking a step back and paying attention to them is that they don't even respond, they don't They don't pay attention to, they do what it is that they're gonna do and then they keep it moving. They don't get caught up in this bull. They don't play it, pay attention to what the, what the peons is doing. And so I can't pay attention to what the peons is doing. Like literally block them and then continue to cook, run the numbers up, made more money in 2021 than I ever made in my entire life. Already projected based off of the first two months of the, of the year, running the numbers up we building a billion dollar brand i ain't even just talking about the anton daniels brand i'm talking about the network we trying to get to a billy you think that we out here going back and forth with people in the hood like we in high school man if y'all don't get up off of that and y'all don't stop being broke and having a broke mentality and not leveling up and not moving in the direction that you're supposed to go in it's 50 and 60 year old people on here acting like they are in high school. High school. Nothing's changed. Still stuck in place. It's unfortunate. I love you. I appreciate you. And uh, I'm going to holler at you guys later. Peace.